I've been using this dock from Tobin One at my desk with multiple Chromebooks and my Windows laptop for the last month and I'm ready to share my thoughts on it. I need to say a thanks to Tobin One for sending this to me to test, but as usual all the thoughts in this video are my own. Subscribers of the channel will know I was impressed with their hub I reviewed. That was mainly thanks to the dual HDMI connectivity as well as the DisplayPort connection. I'll link to that video in the description of this one. The dock feels really good in the hand, I think it's an aluminium top, bottom and sides with a plastic face and rear, and it weighs in at 351 grams, that's the equivalent of 0.77 pounds. The 3 foot long braided USB-C cable and the 100 watt GAN charger also feel high quality. I'll show you the full specs on screen now from Tobin One's website, and I'll link to that in the video description. Beyond a decent amount of USB connectivity, my main focus of any dock or hub is on display support, power and data transfer. For display support, it can support up to three monitors as extended displays at 4K resolution, two over HDMI and the third over USB-C. I'm typically only running two full HD monitors as extended displays and occasionally with my Chromebook or laptop screen as a third, and this does all of that well. For most Chromebooks, you can only support two extended external displays anyway, but some like the MediaTek-based Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3 can only support one as an extended display. Whilst this dock doesn't carry the works with Chromebook certification, I found no issues in compatibility in my testing. As usual, it's just worth testing your peripherals out with your Chromebook. On the power front, it's nice having a versatile small GAN3 USB-C charger rather than a power brick. The slight downside is if you're purchasing in the UK or Europe, Tobin One will send you a power adapter for your country, so it's a bit of extra bulk to your connection that you need to be aware of. As well as the dock supporting up to 87 watts of power for your laptop or Chromebook, it also offers a dedicated 20 watt power delivery USB-C connection on the front. This is of course really handy for charging devices like your phone. I've also had success in slowly charging a second Chromebook off it while it's turned off, and even more slowly powering and charging a less demanding Chromebook while it's on. As expected, I did receive the charging may be unreliable warning. Regarding data transfer, the front of the dock offers two dedicated 10 gigabit per second ports, one is USB-C and one is USB-A. It's overkill, but I've got my Logitech receiver plugged into the USB-A port, purely to keep the connections on the front of the dock looking a little bit cleaner, and I use the USB-C one mainly for media transfer to and from my phone. You've also got card readers on the front of the dock, again pretty practical, especially when some of the recent Chromebook Plus models I've shown on the channel seem to be missing the card reader. The on-off button on the front of the dock is also convenient, most of the time it seems to just need one press to power on and a slightly longer hold to power off, occasionally I've had to give it a longer hold to power on as well. It's hard to be too critical of anything missing as I feel this dock meets my core needs today and also offers some future proofing for when I next upgrade my monitors. As I've shown you though, there are no DisplayPort connections as it has the two HDMI and one USB-C display outputs instead. As you can likely tell, I'm pretty impressed with this dock. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you want to check out the Tobin One Hub I showed at the start of the video, that's on the card on the left now. And if you want to check out another Chromebook video from the channel, that's on the right.